Welcome to my project ideas. In this video, we'll learn how to build a website using WordPress. And we are going to discuss a actual business scenario where you have to build a website for a social media marketing business. So there are a few prerequisites. It's like you need to have a domain, a hosting, and a theme builder or theme to build a website using WordPress. So in our use case, we are going to buy domain from GoDaddy, buy hosting from SiteGround, and buy theme builder from Divi. So we have bought everything already. So I will just showcase how to start with the next steps. So these are the steps that we are going to follow. So we'll do the hosting setup first. It's like we'll connect the WordPress website or the domain that we bought from GoDaddy over the SiteGround. Then we'll connect actual end-to-end -end process from GoDaddy to SiteGround. And then we'll install the DV. And then we'll start a development. So, so we have already SiteGround in place. We'll do the login. So we are logged in now and we have to choose which particular domain we are going to use for the development. So I will go to GoDaddy and click on my account. And we'll choose one of the domain that I can use for development. SigmaEarth.com. So I will do this manage first. And once I've decided which particular domain I need to use for the development, I can come back to SiteGround. I can click on new website. The domain I have already bought from GoDaddy, right? So I'll do the existing domain and I will mention the website name here. So it's a fresh website. So we'll choose start new website. We need WordPress for development. I will call it admin at sigma.com and password I can keep as admin at the rate one, two, three. I will continue. And I'll finish. So I have taken SiteGround WordPress hosting. So it already provides me a layout or flow by which while creating the hosting setup only I can install WordPress. There are many scenarios where you actually create a blank website over here and then you install WordPress using their inbuilt uh, system. So the same thing we can do here also, but uh, let's uh, install with their predefined process. So while it gets installed, we can go back to our domain. And we need to find something called DNS. Manage domain, I will click. I'll click DNS. So if you are viewing this video after a certain time, it might happen that GoDaddy might have changed the entire flow. But ultimately you need to search for DNS. You need to click on various ways and find DNS. It is same for other portals also. If you are buying it from some and some other account, some other website, there also need to find DNS. Once you are able to find DNS, you need to search for name servers. And you will also see that uh, the name servers are already defined and it is defined by the domain provider. So I'll click on change name server. I will use my own name servers. And then I can go back to GoDaddy uh, to SiteGround. Here they have provided me the name server names. So I need to copy and paste and click on save. So now if you see, we have already done the setup from GoDaddy site. We have also done the setup from SiteGround side. Now I can go back to site tools. And here I can see WordPress. We have already installed in case we have chosen to create a blank website, then now we can always come back and install a new WordPress. And here you can see, we can click login to web admin panel. So now you see we are not able to open up. Uh, okay, it, it opened up now. You can click on exit wizard. And we have successfully like uh, reach to the admin panel. One more thing you can do is like you can go to security within SiteGround if you are using that. 
and go to SSL manager and install one of the SSL here. So to make my site HTTPS rather than having HTTP, you know, it will make it secure here. I need to install SSL, right? So whenever you start building a website for a business, you will always need to have HTTPS installed over your website. So you can either buy via the GoDaddy itself, but if you're using SiteGround, then it, they provide it for free. Okay, let it get installed and we'll move to the next step. So if I go back to the steps that we discussed, so we have set up the hosting, we have connected the domain. Now we'll install DV. So once we have already bought the DV and it's in place, you can click on account and go to username and API keys. And here you will see an option to generate API key. I will name it as uh, the label can be Sigma Earth. Just to make uh, you know are you aware regarding what exactly will be the website name for which you have generated the key. In future you can generate for more websites, right? So you need to differentiate between them. Then I, again I will click on account and I will click on product downloads. Here you will see DV theme. So I can install the DV theme. So now I have downloaded. So I can go to WordPress. Here in the panel, you can see multiple options. And here I can click on appearance and themes. And I can click on add new theme. Upload the theme. I can choose file and then can choose DV and install now. And click on activate. So DV is activated. So now what you can do is go to DV theme options and go to updates. Here you can provide username and API keys. So API key we have just generated, right? We can copy this. And username will be whatever your account name is. And click on save changes. So this username is the DV username, whatever email ID or whatever uh, username you have created here, you can use the same here. So we are done with that. So now if we visit the website, you will see a DV template loading up here with something in the footer also. So still I see it is not secure, right? Although I've installed. So what I will do is I will click here HTTPS and force and click here. So this will enforce HTTPS over my website. So now if I click to refresh, you can see that uh, warning by default is gone. Still, we can see a few warning here that we can refresh here. So now you see we have already logged out. So it means like whatever we have installed, it has made me log out. So I can just again click here and enter my password and log back in. So till now what we have done is like we have installed our hosting. We have connected a domain. We have installed DV theme and now we are going to start a development. So to start development, what you can go do is like go back to DV. So I have clicked on DV themes and I can see multiple options here like business is there. So I need a business website. So I'll come here. And I can search over here which type of website I want or you can go back and uh, you can actually go to pages click add new page call it home because the very first page we develop is home page click publish and then click use db builder
I will start building. So by default, it will give me three options. Build from scratch, it's like uh, you have to build every element by yourself. Choose a pre-made layout. It means the layout that I was showing here, I can choose from here and build with AI. So here you can simply describe your page content and they will generate it for you. So as of now, we are going to choose a pre-made layout. So it will give me a clarity which type of page and elements are there. It will not give me something random. So I'll click on browse layouts. Whatever categories that you can see here. Right, we can see over here also. I will choose business. And here you see business CV is there, consulting is there, co-working is there, online business is there. So social media consultancy is here. So what I can think is like, I need to find a theme that matches with my requirement, right? So I can uncheck it. I can write here social. You see everything that is relevant to social media appears here. So I'll click one particular page. I can see all the relevant pages like what will the landing page, the home page, the services page, right? About us, contact us blog. So these are the generic pages that we develop for a business website. So since I need the home page first, I can first click on view live demo. And if it suits my requirement, I will just click on use this layout. And it will get the layout for me. So now I can see the layout is enabled. I can see some extra elements which I will delete later on. And I will change a few text here. My website name is Sigma Earth Social Media Consultants. Right here, I can add something about my company name Sigma Earth is the leading social media marketing services provider. We can help you to reach. 1 million followers in a month, something like that. And what services this particular website provides lead generation, reputation management. In case something else is there, then you can also like add element, duplicate it out like this, and keep changing the content. Here you can present something that your CEO says that um, social media marketing is a way to help people reach to their right customers something like that here all the clients images can be added Contact us is also mentioned here. So where exactly you want your mail to be sent that you can configure like this here in the mail address. You can provide like uh, admin at Sigma earth dot com or your Gmail address, whatever you want. And in place of name, send me whatever name is coming like this. In email, whatever email is being provided. And in message, whatever message is provided. So what I am doing is like just mapping the fields here. So these fields are added here. If I click on settings, this is the field ID. So this field ID will be mapped to this particular name. So how exactly I got like I need to write like this. You can always click on question mark and you will find a helpful text here, which you can read and keep adding the content. So I hope like this we you understood like we can create a simple uh, website layout here. I have saved it out. 
and I will exit the Visual Builder. And I will go to again the dashboard. And I will click theme options. I need to change the logo, so I will click on logo and click on upload. Select a file. So let me go to file and get uh, one of the logos. Suppose I choose this one. I will save it as logo and save changes. Then I will go to appearance menu. Create a menu called primary or something else, whatever you want. And this will be a primary menu. I will create menu. What all I want is a home page as of now and save it out. Right, and I can go back and refresh. So I see a logo here, home is here, a search bar is here, but my page is not appearing. To fix that, I will go to settings, general, and first change the website title that is appearing over here, Sigma Earth. Fine, save it. Go to reading. What will be the home page displaying a static page and the page will be home page that you have created just now and save changes. Now you can refresh again. You see the name over here has changed the logo, although it is very small image, but you can always keep a better image here has changed and you can also see the home button. So now what we can do is like create a few more pages, right? So I'll quickly add new pages. I will call it about us publish use DB builder I will click on edit with DB builder I will choose a pre-made layout I will search for business look for the theme that I used recently to you know keep the experience common and I will choose this about use this layout over here and it will be installed. So meanwhile, I'll go to the creation of one new page. And I will call it contact us. Publish it out. Similarly, use DB Builder. Choose a pre-made layout search for social and I will search for contact page here use the layout save this one first and then exit and go to dashboard So parallelly I created two pages. I just imported the respective pages from the DB builder and I'm just saving it out. And one more page I will do, I'll go to add new page and I will create a page for blocks. Blocks, publish it out first. Use DB builder. and choose your pack, search for blocks, use this layout. And in parallel, I will also go and create one more page. That is the services page. So I will again write services, publish it out, use DB Builder, Search for my pre-made layout, search on business, click here, get our services, use this layout. And meanwhile, I can go to blocks, save it up. For saving, I can click here or do control S. 
and then I can exit and go to dashboard again. Again, control S to save it up. So as of now, I am not changing any content. I am just importing themes, the pages, and saving it up. So I have created multiple pages. So if I go back to home page, I cannot see any of the pages, right? So I need to connect them over the menu bar. So for that, I can go to appearances, menu, and all the pages I want, I can select from here and add to menu. Then I can arrange them like this. And save the menu. Refresh it out. So now I can see that a menu bar is here. When I can click on services and I can see all the services that we provide. About us. Blocks. And contact us. So all the pages that are required for a business are in place. But still something is missing, right? So it is not looking very clean. So first of all, the footer is not correct. For that, I can go to visits and uh, delete, delete everything because initially whatever is provided is by default and we don't need it. So I'll delete everything from here. and update and then click on refresh so everything is gone but I still see a few things like design by someone and all so I can go to customize here and click on footer bottom bar and what I want so I will give an example like suppose we have made a website called uh, adgimbal.com and they have just written copyright like here. So I'll go back and mention copyright 2024 and I can also write the company name that we used to build the website, Rulabs Private Limited and the color can be made white. So background color can remain like this and this color can be made white bit bold i hope that's fine right and in case you don't want the social media icons you can always remove it from the here but as of now we'll publish it out and refresh you see the footer you can edit the content now the menu bar also looks does not act like a, an elegant menu bar. So we'll go to header and navigation, go to primary menu bar. We can make it full width. We can change the active link color. So let's me suppose I can make it as dark black. And, uh, and we'll also change a few more colors like uh, how it will look when it is not clicked. So we can also make it like this so text color is suppose black only without any transparency. Font style I can increase like this. I can change the active link color to something else so that you know it is quite visible. I can increase the size of the text to 16. And I can I go back header format I I can you know disable this uh, search bar next to it so we can just search for the same thing header element and hide the search bar and click publish I can go back and refresh and it looks quite better than that so we'll try to remove this logo and have something better so I'll again go back to DV, click on theme options, 
and I'll look for a better image now. Now this one looks better, right? So we have the website name Sigma Earth, something similar as a logo. And we have this website ready. This website is ready with all the pages. Now what's the next step for a DB developer or a WordPress developer? It is to change the content as per the requirement of the business. So business will provide the list of the services, the tags, the text, like what exactly they have done in past in about us and keep changing this uh, particular website with the respective images and respective content. That's it. So I believe this video will be helpful for you as a beginner to start developing using DB Builder. Now also you will understand how to start developing using the uh, hosting service provider by SiteGround. In case you want something different, something uh, similar to WordPress, but other theme, you can always ping in the comment section and we'll build a video on top of it. Thank you very much.